Well, it's not just storms we're seeing tonight. Wildfire smoke is also moving into the area. Jacob, what can you tell us? That's right. We have hazardous air quality being reported across western and northern North Dakota. This wildfire smoke from Canada continuing to push down to the south and east after the storms have, have been uh, moving out. So we're looking at visibilities being reduced to a mile to two and a half miles across Dickinson, Williston and Minot because of the very thick wildfire smoke near the ground really impacting that air quality and that near ground smoke will continue to move into our area and stick around throughout the day on Tuesday with the gusty north wind here at the surface uh, aiding in that wildfire smoke transport and the smoke could linger throughout much of our area impacting our air quality on Wednesday as well. But for the severe storms, they're moving to the east now, so we're all clear from any severe storms in the Bismarck Mandan area as well as throughout western North Dakota. The severe threat now over the eastern half of the state where that severe thunderstorm watch continues. We're watching for the one severe thunderstorm warning we have in place right now over portions of Foster, Kidder, Stutzman, and Wells County for 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, the damaging wind threat continues to be the primary concern here because of this bow echo shape kind of like a backward C shape that you can see on radar. And when that happens, that really increases the severe wind threat with these storms. The severe thunderstorm warning has also been extended up towards Benson, Eddy, and Ramsey counties in northeastern North Dakota. The velocity mode on radar really shows that strong wind signature that moved through Robinson, Carrington, and is now approaching New Rockford. So those strong severe storms moving into northeastern North Dakota uh, as we go through the next couple of hours. But lingering showers will continue into your Tuesday morning. So we'll see this persistent band of precipitation continue for southwest and south central North Dakota into your Tuesday morning by midday hours. Still some rain possible in, in the Bismarck Mandan area before that band of precipitation moves into eastern North Dakota in the afternoon. We'll see the sunshine introduced to the northwest first. But those strong winds will be with us throughout your day on Tuesday. Gusts between 20 and 30, uh, 35 miles per hour are possible as we go through Tuesday. But tonight, look for temperatures in the 50s. Tomorrow, that big change in the pattern with 60s for highs after some of us were in the 90s today and below normal temperatures are going to be sticking around as you go through the seven day forecast 70s for the rest of the work week with sunny conditions Wednesday through Friday. All right cooler temperatures. I like it. I think we can take it but we'll have to get that smoke out of here. It's going to be with yeah. us for at least the next couple of days. Oh man. All right. Unfortunately. All right. Thanks Jacob. You're